So how's the weather down there in Australia this time of year? Because it is cold here in the majority of the United States today. Friday, December 23rd, it's Christmas Eve, Eve. It's freezing cold outside, even down here in Texas. It's going to be below freezing every night for a few nights. Then it'll be back in the 70s, you'll see. But I'm flying to Pennsylvania uh, uh, tomorrow, where it's going to be very cold. So, wish me luck. And uh, I, good luck to all of you in your, your travels, wherever you're going. I hope you don't hit too many snags. Okay, so what are we going to shave with today? Well, since it's Christmas Eve, Eve, I'm going to use Christmas Eve. I'm just jumping right ahead from Sterling. I love this stuff. I just want to use it just because it's the most wonderful time of... I can use this brush, the Sinatra Linen. This is the original signature, right? Yeah, I think so. The original. The old school. And, uh, and then for an aftershave, I'm going to use Captain's Choice Bay Rum, which they sent me. I think that Bay Rum spices and the Christmas spices are going to combine to something really special. I hope. We'll see. And I, what, what razor am I going to use? What razor am I going to use? Well, you know, I'm going to revisit the High Proof razor, the single-edged razor that's the uh, it's kind of a Kickstarter thing going on right now. And... Uh, I was sent this to try out from Andrew and everybody over there at High Proof. And look at this, before I start shaving, before I start shaving, I just want to show you this. So Andy sent me a lovely note and he said, you know, let me do this while we're talking so you're not just listening to me chat. I took a shower, did my hair, put some hot water on my face. So a while back when I was talking with Andrew and the, and the folks over there at High Proof, they were like, maybe they heard tell that my dad still uses those, uh, plastic Bic disposables, and they're like, we want to send your dad one of our razors. I'm like, that'd be great. That'd be great. So what they did was, so let me load this up first. Here's how the High Proof works. It's got magnets, folks. It's got a tilt. It's a single edge. You just break one of the, uh, you know, double-edged razor blades in half, and then you pop the little top off, and then you put it in there, just like that. It's got a little, it kind of sits right in there. It's real obvious how it goes, and this kind of clips back in with a magnet, and there you go. It's kind of like a disposable razor, but it's not disposable. It's made out of aluminum, I think. It's real light, but it's got a pivoting head just like those ones. So if you're a cartridge razor user, you should check out the High Proof. So let me show you what they did. They sent, you know, because my dad uses those disposable, they said, we want to send one for your dad, and look what they did. They personalized it. It says, Papa Sinatra. Look at that. They, they actually made this and sent it to me. I'll give it to my dad when I see him soon. But how about that? How neat is that? Thanks, Andy, and to everybody over there at High Proof. And I hope you're uh, selling a lot of your razors. And I hope you've raised all the money you thought you would. Because, you know, being a, a startup business and an entrepreneur, that's got to be tough. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. So I always admire people that do. Okay. So let's lather up with the Christmas Eve. Got a couple of shout outs. Got some Christmas Eve Eve shout outs. And uh, there's four of them. Let's just start off right here at the top. Samuel Walcott in Alabama. Shout out to you, Samuel. How's things over there in Alabama? You know, I don't believe I've ever visited Alabama. I've been to Arkansas. No, I have. I have. I've been to Mobile. That's right. Because uh, I, I don't. You, you may not have been watching my channel, but back in college, uh, my stepfather, who we call Grandpa John, who passed a couple of years ago, he was in the oil business, worked for Conoco. And he said, hey, you know, this is my, I think my, uh, after my freshman year of college, he said, if you want to make a lot of money this summer, I'll get you a job on an offshore oil rig out in the Gulf of Mexico. So I said, yeah, I'm game. I'll try that out. I'll be a roustabout. Roustabout is kind of like the catch-all, like the lowest rung on the totem pole, uh, mixed metaphor, the lowest rung on the ladder, guy, you know, we clean everything up, we, we, we get the mops out, we repair things that need to be painted, or uh, then we, we move like huge, like there's a crane operator that works with the roustabouts, and uh, yeah, dangerous stuff, if you don't watch out, if you're not watching yourself, and they got a load of pipe coming down. Luckily, I made it through the whole summer, but uh, all right, here we go, I'm gonna start shaving. It's been a while since I used this, and I remember it's a mild razor, but I do like the fact that it's got that pivoting head. I don't need a pivoting head, but I know a lot of people like it. So anyway, yes, so I was on the offshore oil rig and I had to drive from New Orleans, Louisiana to Mobile, Alabama to take the helicopter out to the oil rig. And this was, it was called the Ocean Titan, if you want to look it up. I think it's been dry docked now, but it's out there somewhere. 
Maybe it, maybe it's been put out into service. I don't know. It might have been totally retired. You know, they like to do that. They rename it. It's kind of like old ships, you know? Anyway, yeah. So I have been to Alabama. So shout out to you, Samuel, in Alabama. Christmas in Dixie. Snowing in the pines. I'm singing a lot. It's Christmas time. Why not? Oh, I got the wife and kids and the dog off to the airport today. They are in the air right now. They are flying in between this super strong cold front that's dr you know dumping ice and snow and everything in the Midwest and the Great Lakes. And But they're just threading the needle. If you look at the flight path up to Pennsylvania, I just hope they're not delayed trying to land in Newark because there's some low clouds, I understand. Well, I like this when you get a real when you get a hold of it and get the angle just right, you really feel like you're clearing those whiskers. I like that. I like just enough feedback to know that I'm doing something, you know. I can't remember the price on these. They are a Kickstarter, I think. Still, they're a bit pricey. Hundred dollars or so, I can't remember exactly, but it's a cool design and you know, I, I prefer just the twig or the thorn or whatever, but this is a good one too. This one is perfect for people like my dad who maybe used a safety razor back in the 60s when they were young, you know, high school or whatever, but don't want to do that anymore, but have gotten used to these disposable cartridge razors. And I think he uses the plastic bic. I need to, I, I think I asked him last time, but so dad, if you're watching, leave a, whoa. Has that ever happened before? That was dad saying, yeah, put this back up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta have, this is a professional show. I gotta put this back up so it looks good back there. Yeah. <laughs> and it was right after the first pass. I hope it stays this time. I just didn't have enough hanging in the back. Okay. <laughs> a lot of us don't have enough hanging in the back. You know what I mean? Okay, so there's the first pass. Still got a lot to go. It is a mild razor, so it's not gonna just super smooth you out the first First pass, so that's why I do more than one. Get a little, oh, this Christmas Eve stuff smells so good. It smells like fir trees and, and, you know, everything beautiful about that sort of thing and spices and some orange and, ah, there's probably some cloves in there somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scent guy. I know what I like. I don't know what I don't like. You know what I'm watching downstairs? I was putting together uh, my son's Christmas present and I had the movie A Christmas Story on. You know, Ralphie that wants the uh, Red Ryder BB gun. I love that movie. I saw it when it came out in 83 and it didn't really have an impact on me. And then TBS, like 20 some odd years ago, started playing it 24 hours in a row back to back like over the Christmas holiday. And I just would like, that's how I got really acquainted with it, you know, by watching that. So now I just like to have it on in the background sometimes during Christmas time, you know, if back in the room if you're, you know, wrapping presents or whatever. I'm a pretty good wrapper of presents. So that was nice, putting together uh, my son's present, which wasn't too hard to put together, thank goodness. Oh, there have been some miserable late night Christmas Eve gifts I've had to put together. Oh, there was this one, it was like this huge, like Hot Wheels slash Lego slash gaming table. It was like those, that Ikea furniture, you know? It's just got so many different steps and different proprietary screws and the Allen wrench they give you doesn't, doesn't really work very well. It's not made out of very good metal. <laughs> Hey, now we're getting somewhere, folks. This is this would be a fantastic travel razor. And as I outlined in the my review of, the, of it last time I did it, this uh, cap can pop off. So if you're packing this for travel, just put it in a Ziploc bag, close it up. Oh, and this little black thing is the uh, adhesive that you stick on the wall, and it's got a magnet too. That keep that next to your uh, sink, and then it clicks in. A little magnet. Magnets! How do they work? All right, third pass, and then I'm heading out for one last jaunt before work. I hope that all is well. 
They took, uh, wife and kids took our dog, took cinnamon on the plane for the first time. Oh my gosh. She gets real anxiety when she goes outside of the house, like anywhere. So I, I know I'm going to hear about it later. I just know I'm going to hear about it. Oh man. Luckily the flight wasn't delayed and hopefully it won't be delayed in the air, but I'm getting notifications saying that Newark is delaying land or is that like delaying flights like at their origin. So I think that means if you've already taken off and you're near, you're all okay, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I fly out tomorrow. So what's your favorite holiday slash Christmas movie that you watch? Christmas Vacation, obviously, fantastic. The Griswolds. You know which one? There are two Christmas movies I hate that I like to watch. It's not hate watching, because that's, that's too, you know, I don't hate them. But it's my guilty pleasure. I'm like, these are not good, but I like watching them. First one is Jingle All the Way with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and little his little son who wants Turbo Man. Jake Lloyd, little Anakin Skywalker before he filmed the Phantom Menace. So Jingle All the Way is not good. It's got Sinbad in it. JB, I give you Turbo Man. That's my Dubo man. And the second one that I love to, uh, my guilty pleasure that I just don't think it's very good, but I enjoy watching it because of it, is Christmas with the Cranks. It's uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Tim, uh, 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 geez, now I'm drawing a blank. What's his face from Tool Time? People say I sound and look like him all the time, and now I'm drawing a blank, of course. The guy does Buzz Lightyear's voice, jeez. Don't tell me in the comments. I'm gonna figure it out as soon as I turn this off, so you don't need to tell me in the comments. <laughs> like you did last time with Willard Scott. Thank you, by the way. Oh, got a couple more shout outs. I'm just, I'm like digging in here and going along, not even thinking about it. I'm getting underneath my nose here. Man, this is a nice shave. Yep, easy. Easy and effortless. Don't even have to think about it. It's like safety -er razor. <laughs> Safetyist razor? I don't know. Yeah, it's good. And it uses just plain old, this is really important, plain old razor blades, double-edged razor blades. You can buy almost anywhere and just snap it in half, stick one in, you're good to go. None of that proprietary stuff. You know, more power to you if you like to use certain razors that are using proprietary blades, but you know, I, I always think down the line, is this company going to exist in 10 years or five years or whatever? Okay, shout out. Oh, we got a happy belated birthday. My goodness. To Hodge. Happy belated birthday, Hodge. That comes from your friend Vidya Gaming. That's his YouTube name. Vidya. V-I-D-Y-A. So happy belated birthday, Hodge. All right. Mm, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm trying to do Chevy Chase from Christmas Vacation. I'm failing, failing badly. All right, time to clean up. Trying to put on some Bay Rum. And uh, yeah. Oh, good shave. Good shave. I tell you, if you use decent products, you don't have to use high end stuff. You can get a really pleasant experience shaving like this. Try it out if you haven't yet. Okay, two more shout outs. Rob Walsh. Shout out to you, buddy. <laughs> like that's it that's your shout out and then I show the next thing no Rob Walsh thank you and uh, if anybody wants a shout out just leave a comment and I I read them all I read them all I, I forget them all as soon as I've read them but all right so Captain's Choice Bay Rum I'm trying to dry my hand there we go you don't need a lot a little goes a long way I could probably use more than this but oh gosh Bay Rum look at that oh it's leaving a little bit of a film Hmm. Hmm. I've never had that happen before with a with an aftershave. That's kind of weird. <laughs> no. It's, that is aftershave, right? Yeah, it's shave balm. Okay, maybe I just maybe I put even too much. Okay. I have to rub it in here. Rub it in, rub it in. Ooh. It does smell good though. There we go. Yeah, I just used too much. Boy. 
A very little goes a long way when it comes to that, which is nice. <laughs> Save some money in the long run. Oh, it's good smelling. Oh, and I got a friend, another shout out. I believe you're in France and maybe even Paris, which I have not visited yet. I haven't been to France. I've been to England and that's about it. <laughs> no, I went to Russia and uh, went to Mobile, Alabama. No, Pierre Holsbrett. He's got a birthday coming up. He turns 22 on December 27th. So Pierre, um, oh God, what is it? Happy birthday in French. I took French in middle school and now I can't remember. In Spanish, it's Feliz Cumpleaños and in English, it's happy birthday. So uh, uh, it's not Joya Noel, that's Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, well, forgive me, please. Happy birthday, Pierre. And uh, 22. If you're shaving like I am, you're, you're way ahead of the game already. So happy upcoming birthday. And shout outs, everyone again. Samuel Walcott over there in Alabama. Happy belated birthday to Hodge from his friend Vidya Gaming. Rob Walsh. Just Rob Walsh. Solid. You can tell Rob's a solid guy. And Pierre Holsbrett. Happy birthday. 22nd birthday. My goodness. I'm 30 years older than you. All right. I got to go lay down in my easy chair and my rocking chair and put on my reading glasses or something after that. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic Yuletide. Season's greetings to you and yours. Merry Christmas tomorrow, Christmas Eve. May all your wishes come true. And I'll see you all right after, I think on Boxing Day. Yeah, Monday. Monday is Boxing Day, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back then from Pennsylvania as long as the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. All right. Merry Christmas. See you then.